Law of mass action. The law of mass action states that the product of number of electrons in the conduction band and the number of holes in the valence band is constant at a fixed temperature and is independent of amount of donor and acceptor impurity added. Mathematically it is represented as NP equals NI square equals constant, where NI is the intrinsic carrier concentration, N is number of electrons in conduction band, P is number of holes in valence band. Now, let's see law of mass action for extrinsic semiconductor. The law of mass action is applied for both intrinsic and extrinsic semiconductors. For extrinsic semiconductor the law of mass action states that the product of majority carriers and minority carriers is constant at fixed temperature and is independent of amount of donor and acceptor impurity added. Law of mass action for n-type semiconductor. The law of mass action for n-type semiconductor is mathematically written as n p n equals n i square equals constant. Where n equals number of electrons in n-type semiconductor, p n equals number of holes in n-type semiconductor. The electrons are the majority carriers and holes are the minority carriers in n-type semiconductor. In n-type semiconductor, as the number of electrons in the conduction band increases the number of holes in the valence band decreases. Now, let's see the law of mass action for p-type semiconductor. The law of mass action for p-type semiconductor is mathematically written as PPNP equals NI square equals constant. Where PP equals number of holes in P-type semiconductor, NP equals number of electrons in P-type semiconductor. The holes are the majority carriers and electrons are the minority carriers in P-type semiconductor, in P-type semiconductor. As the number of holes in the valence band increases the number of electrons in the conduction band decreases. Therefore, the product of holes and electrons remains constant at fixed temperature. 